All right, we're getting ready to kind of do a quick cleanup on a, an old ottoman, and this thing's got some bad permanent stains. Uh, someone, we got it from a guy that used to uh, tattoo, and so it has tattoo ink in it, and it's uh, got some tears and everything. And uh, so we just clean it once in a while, even though it, you can't make it look nice. It's going to look like garbage when it's done, but we're going to. Uh, clean it because oh, but it'll at least be clean. Yeah, it's just because it looks dirty don't mean it is It's just a place to sit when you sit at the couch you put your feet up on and stuff. That's all it's for. That's the Ryobi um, Polisher That's the hand version you've seen the one that we use that uh, is extendable now the equipment we're showing on this video is stuff that a homeowner could use but if you're a professional uh, you could use it too, especially if you're starting out and you're on a low budget and you want to get some nice stuff, but you don't, I mean, if you want to upgrade to the expensive equipment in the future, that's fine, but this can really get you started. Uh, it's just affordable. It's low budget and it does work. Now this is Beckel Green Earth we sprayed on this and yeah. I can smell the minty smell from here. Me too. And uh, he's just scrubbing it in with that brush to kind of agitate it into the fibers and it's got peroxide in it and uh, hold on, I'll show you. There's the other power scrubber right there that you've seen. Uh, but that's the handheld version there. Now he's going to extract it. This is a basic uh, Bissell, what is that thing called? Bissell Pro Heat? Something like that. Something like that, Pat. <laughs> yeah. It's all you, it's a really basic, it's all you it's need. It's all though. you need. I mean, you got to figure for furniture, okay, listen. You're putting water down, you're pulling it back up. Furniture as thin as a t-shirt. How much pressure do you really want to shoot well, into your cushion? We like this thing too because it's small and you can throw it in the trunk of a car. Or something oh yeah, like you that can take this all over town. Carry it with you, and Maybe. it's not not so super expensive. And if it breaks after a while, who cares? Just buy another one. You go buy another one. Yeah. So if you're if you're doing uh, charging for this, you can uh, you can you can make the money to pay for it pretty quickly. And you're not going to see any magic transformation here because this, uh, like I said, this. Well, this is all ink and all Yeah, it's got ink and stuff yeah. in it. And you're, this ain't super old. The truth is, we just keep it around because it's very comfortable. Well, it's got wheels on it so it rolls. And yeah. if you put a board on top of it, it's a nice little work table, too, because you can move it around and you can twirl it. And... We're not saying it's not an old piece of junk, but it's a nice, it, it works for what we do. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about getting it dirty. It gets no, water spilt on it. I'm just it doing stuff vacuum sometimes. only now. All right. So I'll probably do vacuum only a couple of passes. Yeah, there's no detergent in the water he's spraying on there. It's just water. It's just water. So there's no. You don't really need to keep putting water down because you're not cleaning it with the water. He's just now. What I'm out saying. Some stuff. This is what you call professional equipment and uh, how you should. No, this but, is but, a, but a lot of people. This is all you need. But we're professionals, so and. We, we've already been out cleaning the furniture with this, and you know what? It works. And we haven't made bills, but we've already been out working with it. We've made more money than this thing. You know what? Just scooping around with I it. I think what I'll do is I'll roll that in front of the uh, fan. Yeah. You don't have to do that on video, though. No. I'll put it in front of the fan, turn the fan on for a while. And You're going to dry it up in about 15 minutes. I will let it dry slow so the peroxide will, will work a little longer, but... I'm not really thinking the peroxide's going to do a lot to fix this thing. It's just we spilled some water on it a few days ago, and it got some brown water stains in it because the you know the hard water. And so now that's at least cleaned that up. Look at this. See how? Uh, uh, yeah. See if there was even any dirt. No, it might be because that that thing. Uh, well, it's been sitting around for ages. Yeah, I don't know? think we've cleaned that thing in months. Oh, a couple uh, maybe of years. maybe a couple of years even. So it'd be a little bit of dirt. Yeah. Uh, let's go. You pour it. Well, let's see. I'll put it down the sink. Yeah, this sink's white, so you can see. Yeah. Let's see if there's any like. dirt in this. See? Mm. That's a fair amount of dirt out of such a small area. I only, I only had the trigger pulled on the first pass. After that, it was just all vacuum. We'll turn these faucets on, let it run for a minute or two, kind of clean everything out. And then when you're done, this thing quite easy comes apart. You just, you know, run under your sink a little bit. 
No big deal. Now you guys need to understand if you're getting into this business, this industry, don't don't let these guys in these groups talk you into spending six or eight hundred dollars on something that does with this though. I mean you can get one of those well, when you money, it. but if you're new, just get something like this, it yeah. does the trick. You can make a lot of money with this and then if you really want to later you can use one of these to pay for one of those. And don't listen to these guys when they say, Oh, you show up at your customer's house or something like that, they'll send you pack and it's just they don't that, care. That's farther from the truth. The customers don't care. They don't even know about this stuff. Most people don't go to Walmart and Home Depot and stuff and go look at carpet extractors. Well, they just don't have no knowledge about it or caring about it. So don't let these guys in these groups fool you into thinking you need to go spend there's lots you know, of a lot of money at some idiot store. Well, there's a lot of people that... Because uh, you don't. There's a lot of people that can afford a really nice lawnmower and they'll still pay somebody to come over and mow their lawn because they don't want to do it themselves. So. Yeah, just got custom And they're not going to care. They're not going to care that they, that you got a mower that they could buy themselves if they wanted to. Cause if they wanted to mow the lawn themselves, they'd do it themselves. But they get you because they don't want to do it themselves. No, I've got a group on Facebook that's based off the the whole fakeness of this industry, and it explains how people will, you know, these these carpet stores will ride. They'll trick you and lie to you and to get money out of you on everything. You don't well, need nothing more than this to paint furniture. With. Now, in the future, you make more money. And you want to, you know, what you think is an upgrade, fine. Yeah. But don't let these idiots in these groups and well, it's like we said, if you don't, all these stores, they're lying to you. Don't let them trick you. If you don't, if money. you don't like this stuff, don't don't buy it. If you don't like the videos, don't watch them. Yeah. You know, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, but anyway, that's all for this one. Uh, it's just a quick video showing you. We're trying to do some housekeeping. We don't, you know. Uh, if you go to like a landscaper's house, oh, his, now, his the, old the, lawn looks now, this, terrible. This is kind of tacky, I know. I'm sure all the the people who consider themselves professionals will laugh at it, but here's one feature you can do with this when you're done working. And it's kind of neat, actually, for being a cheap little tool. It does a pretty good, it's pretty Is there any good. water in that tank? Because yeah. it's, it's not going to work if you didn't put any it's water, water in it. You put, turn this on and you push the button, and what it does is shoots water in here, sucks it right back in the hose, it cleans it, and see, look at this. It completely cleans out your hose for you so you don't have dirty water left in your vacuum hose. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that's kind of nice. So, but remember, don't don't let people manipulate you into thinking you got to buy a bunch of expensive equipment. I just, you we, know what, buy we, you. We've been doing this for years, and we do anything we want, and customers don't care. Nobody cares. Just buy what you want. Buy what I you don't want. care what you, and nobody cares what you think. Nobody cares what I think, those, so just those, do what you those want. Those guys are idiots. Who cares yeah. what they say? If they don't like it, they can do whatever. They can do something else. Altogether. They're just telling you what to do to sell you something. All right. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Till next time, thanks for watching.